Yes, so the focus is on the solar sector which has been booming for quite a few years now. When you look at the power generation, in the last five years it's been growing at a 14% CAGR according to data released by the government and, in, in, and the growth is in line with the policy strip which is favoring solar capacity additions since uh, 2018. Now when you look at the data which is the import-export data of solar modules or panels, now India's solar module manufacturing capacity is self-sufficient to meet the internal needs. However, India is still very heavily dependent on um, the import of solar ma modules or panels. However, our exports in the same product has been rising. Now, when you look at the solar import bill, the India imported 28,726 um, crores worth of solar modules or panels, and this has been growing at a 14.6% growth in you, if you see it in the last three years. And this value is 3.86 times higher than fiscal 2023. And the top supplier is China. Now, China is India's top supply in terms of solar um, cells, which are assembled in solar panel or module form. And imports are high despite the 25% customs duty. And one of the main reasons is the lower price. Domestic producers tend to um, prefer Chinese products because of their competitive price versus the domestic producers. And how China has been doing it despite the custom duty is its rerouting. Now, US Department of Commerce um, finding in August 2023 um, said that China China is finding loopholes to avoid the duties and they might be sending their components to southeastern Asian countries for minor processing and this finding is also in line with the data. Now if you look in the last three years, China's um, impo our imports from China have reduced 20.4% in the last three years. However, other countries, for example, you take Vietnam into consideration, it's grown 3,122 times. Then we have Malaysia which has grown at a six times in the last three years. We have Cambodia, um, we have Hong Kong, whose um, imports have reduced, but however, the name of this country was not given in, in the findings. Up next, we have um, Singapore, whose um, imports from Singapore have also increased almost three times. And Cambodia, who back in 2021, 2022, we had zero imports from Cambodia. However, we have 167 crores worth of imports in um, the April to Jan period. Now, when you look at from the export side, the solar module panel exports were at um, 12,104 uh, crores between the April 23 to Jan 24 period. And this has been growing at a 343% and one of the main reasons is the US. Now, US and European countries have certain sanctions against Chinese products and US is responsible for 98% of our exports. But now when we talk about the factors that could benefit the domestic players, one is the low silicon prices. Now, prices of polysilicon, which is a key material for to make solar cells and solar panels, has hit a three-year low. Now, prices are down due to the overcapacity and fierce competition in China itself. And these were the capacities that were added, that were, that were added in 2021 when prices had surged but however these ones these prices have now hit a low and Chinese producers are now seeing losses and now these companies are unwilling to sell at the extreme prices that the buyers are requesting at the second one is the government push for domestic sourcing now the government has mandated local sourcing for modules or panels for government projects or government asset, um, assisted projects they've listed a number of companies and the eligible uh, modules in the ALMM list of 2019 which has been updated last year itself and these modules are to be used for the projects itself and lastly is the increased domestic production now, Indian companies are making an effort to improve the value chain we have the Adani group which has just begun has just become the commercial production of solar wafers and ignots which are used to make the solar cells they also plan to make polysilicon manufacturing by 2027 28 and we have other companies like Reliance Industries subsidiary Reliance New Solar Jindal India which have also entered the polysilicon manufacturing space and lastly is the export potential which uh, India does ha have in terms of US and European countries.